Before I even get to the tutorial, let's do this. Oh yeah, that's much better. Hey everyone, welcome to my remake of my tutorial, How to Get Classic Warcraft 3 Back, Revert from Reforged. Yes, this is a remake, because YouTube took the original one down for some stupid reason. That video was dated and I wanted to update it anyways, so this is a perfect excuse, right? If you're like me, and you hate the changes that Reforged made to Warcraft 3, then this video is for you. This is not a perfect fix, you will still be missing some features, but this is better than playing Reforged. As a side note, this is not a tutorial on how to get the game for free. You will still need valid, paid-for CD keys, whether that's from buying CD copies of the original release or buying classic CD keys off of Battle.net. I repeat, YouTube, this is not a tutorial on how to get the game for free. Unfortunately, I cannot share links to sites with you to find these patches and files. I think that's why YouTube deleted my original video. So for safety's sake, I'm just not going to. You shouldn't have much trouble finding these files on, say, the Hive Workshop, though. Also, unfortunately, you can't downpatch from Reforged. The file structure is completely different, and there's no place to put different versions of the game. So you will need to start with an older client. So again, just best to delete that shit. So first things first, you're going to have to get CD keys. I still have my CD keys from when I first bought the games, so I'm going to be using those. Unfortunately, you can no longer buy Warcraft 3 CD keys on Battle.net. Blizzard took away the ability to purchase the original Warcraft 3 once Reforged came out, so you're going to have to look at sites like eBay or Mercari to get a used copy. If you've already purchased Classic Warcraft 3 on Battle.net, you can still find your CD keys. So to do that, go to blizzard.com, log into your account, and go to Account Settings. Once you're in account settings, click on games and subscriptions and scroll on down to where you see classic games. There you're going to see Warcraft 3 Reign of Chaos and Warcraft 3 The Frozen Throne and next to it you're going to see this big thing right here, list of numbers, that's your license key. You can use these CD keys on other clients or if you have a physical installer like I do. Unfortunately, where it says download game client, that will just take you to Reforge. There's no way to get a classic Warcraft 3 client through Battle.net anymore. You're going to have to look to an outside source. Anyways, once you're ready to go, you pop your CD in. And wait for it to boot up. Click install Warcraft 3, agree, and here's where you put your CD key in. So I'm going to do that right now, and click OK. So here's where you can save your game, you can save it wherever you want, I like keeping my games on the D drive, so that's where I'm going to put mine. And then just wait for it to do its thing. Alright, once you're done, you're going to be greeted with the option to play Warcraft 3. Your folder is going to look like this. Now we're going to do the same thing with the Frozen Throne. I'm going to run the installer. Now that that's all done and installed, test it out. So it just has full screen options here at the beginning. You can see the versions at the bottom here. 1.07, that's the base vanilla Warcraft 3 Frozen Throne. So the next thing that we're going to want to do is patch the game. Now there's a number of reasons that we want to patch the game. One is so that we don't have to put in our CD every single time that we play. 
Um, that gets annoying, especially in this age of Steam where we're used to just being able to boot off the computer, um, and it's just annoying. So we're going to patch it so that we can play without the need of a disc. Some patches can add widescreen options, there's different uh, balancing with different patches. It's all kind of dependent on what you want. Now, I'm going to use 1.27b for this example. You can use anything lower than 1.27b pretty easily. 1.28 and onward is going to be a lot harder because starting with version 1.28, they actually added a launcher to the game. And basically, you can't actually install those patches because it's just going to want to default to Reforged. So anyways, I have version 1.27b, and you're going to, once you download it, you are going to click and drag it into your uh, Warcraft 3 folder and double click on it. It's gonna launch a patcher thing. So, you see this uh, box that just came up for me. This is probably going to happen to you too. It's saying that this file is not found. Now, if you actually go into your folder, you're going to see that that file that it's looking for does exist. It's this war3x.mpq. Uh, for whatever reason, the patches look for a uh, folder, Warcraft 3 Classic. And since it automatically installs as Warcraft 3, that Classic is not there. So it has a super simple fix. You just got to go to the actual folder and rename it to Warcraft 3 Classic instead of just Warcraft 3. And then you can run the patch and it installs fine. I don't know why that it does that. I don't know why it doesn't just default to wherever you install it, but that's how it is and that's what you need to do to make it work. And it installs just fine and boots right up. On 1.27b, we do have more resolution options here. You can put it in like a widescreen setting. It's not true widescreen. As you can see, it's kind of stretched out. Um, anything higher than that, the letters are going to start looking pretty small. So it's not true HD uh, widescreen. It's a stretched widescreen, and the game is going to reflect that. They didn't add true widescreen until 1.28, so if that's something that you want, um, you're going to have to find an alternative client that has that version already installed and do it that way. Now, one thing that was in the old tutorial was that I told you never to click on this Battle.net button because before, if you clicked on that, it would update the game to Reforged. If you click on it now, it, you get this error message saying that you may be trying to connect to an invalid Battle.net server. That's because the original Battle.net servers no longer exist. Blizzard took them down, so you no longer have to worry about accidentally clicking that and updating to Reforged. Now, of course, this means you can't play online. Um, that's always been the case with playing a classic uh, version of Warcraft 3. If you just want the original balancing, the ability to play Reign of Chaos separate from Frozen Throne, custom campaigns, um, some old custom maps, um, no censored content, anything like that, this is the way to do it. So that's how you do a patched version from a CD. Pretty simple. And just to show the difference between patching the game versus downloading a new client, I did download a different version, uh, version 1.29. I'm going to show you how that looks. So once you download a different client, it's actually going to include all of the files already included. You're going to click on uh, the Warcraft 3 executable and you're going to be greeted with another thing asking for a CD key. You're going to put in the CD key there. I want to emphasize that even though it included all the files, you still need to have a CD key. This is not a way to get the game for free. I just want to reiterate that so that everybody knows. This is not a way to pirate the game, it's just a way to get the most out of your game that you've already bought. And now it's going to open up. And since it's 1.29, you are going to have widescreen resolutions. The menu is not going to look widescreen, but it should be widescreen once you actually start the game. You can see it's widescreen. So you're going to have to do a, a version higher than 1.28, I believe, in order to play the game in proper widescreen. But that's how you do that. Still need your CD keys, but it's gonna give you all the files here, and you just kinda launch it there, and then just toggle back and forth between uh, Reign of Chaos and Frozen Throne on the later versions. There's gonna be a little picture next to single player, and you're just gonna toggle it that way, instead of having two executables that you would have on version 1.27b or lower. 
As a quality of life thing, you're also going to want to do this. So open your command prompt. So you're going to want to type in REGSVR32 space, and then in quotations, put the location that you installed Warcraft 3 with the uh, ending blizzard.ax, and then press enter. You're going to have a thing pop up that says uh, DL registration server in uh, your folder has succeeded. So what this is, is that usually when you install Warcraft 3, the pre-rendered cutscenes don't work. You'll either get a black screen or a white screen or they just won't play. Doing this will let those cutscenes play. So uh, if you are having a problem running your cutscenes, that's what you do and you're able to get them to play just fine. Now uh, this solution actually didn't work for me, so there is another thing you can do if your cutscenes still aren't showing up. One thing you can do is change the compatibility on the actual executable. Changing it to Windows 8 worked for me, so you can try that and get the cutscenes working that way as well. Alright now I just want to answer a couple questions that I would frequently get on the old video, mainly about how to install and add uh, custom campaigns and custom maps. So first thing you do, if you are using the uh, disk install patch method, all of the folders that you need to use are going to be in your uh, installation folder, that Warcraft 3 or Warcraft 3 Classic that we renamed folder. You're gonna go in there and you're going to locate um, the folders inside of that folder that say campaigns and maps. So in campaigns, you're just gonna go in there and you're gonna click and put in whatever custom campaigns that you want. And then in maps, you're gonna make a new folder and call it downloads. And in that folder, you're gonna put in whatever custom maps that you want. Once you open up the game, you're going to go to your uh, custom, either custom campaigns, and you're going to see all the custom campaigns there, or you're going to go to uh, custom games, and then you're going to see that downloads folder added, and you are going to see the games and maps that you added there. If you do the new client method with a version later than 1.27b, you are actually going to get greeted with a uh, pop-up the first time you open it saying that you file saves have been reallocated. And all that's doing is shifting those folders into your documents folder. So if you uh, re-navigate to your documents folder and scroll down, you're going to actually see that there's a Warcraft 3 folder in there now, and that's going to have campaigns and maps in there. And you do the exact same thing. You take whatever custom maps that you want, put it in that maps folder, uh, add a new folder called downloads and put that custom maps in there and for custom campaigns you just drop it in custom campaigns and once you boot up the game it's going to look the exact same you'll find your custom campaigns and your custom maps super easy to do you just gotta know where to look so once again if you're doing it from, from your CD and just patching up it's going to be in that install folder that Warcraft 3 installation folder and if you are using a separate client it's going to be in the uh, documents folder under Warcraft 3. You're going to find those uh, the uh, campaigns and maps folder in there. And one last thing I want to discuss is WC3 Connect. Um, I guess you can also use something like um, Game Ranger or something like that for it. Basically to play the game online via LAN. So once you make an account with WC3 Connect, you're going to get something that looks like this. And it is going to ask you to have a version that is patched to uh, 1.30.1. So you are going to want to get a, uh, a copy of the game that looks like that. And the reason that it's going to ask for a specific version of the game is because when you're playing online via LAN, uh, in order to play with other people, you need to make sure that whatever your, uh, version that you're using is the same. So you can't play with people who are playing on a different version from you. So if you have some friends that you want to play online with, you have to make sure that you are on the same version when you're playing online via LAN using Game Ranger or WC3 Connect or actually playing on LAN um, in order to get that. So once you open WC3 Connect, you're going to see a bunch of options here. 
Um, and it's just showing you that there are um, games being hosted, basically. And then if you go into Warcraft 3 and click on LAN, you'll see it populated with all of these games. And you'll see that people are actually online playing, which is really cool. So you can't play on Battle.net on online, unfortunately, but you can play online via LAN using one of these LAN hosting platforms like WC3 Connect or Game Ranger. Only thing to keep in mind is that you're going to need the game to be on the same version as whoever you're trying to play with or if you're trying to play with randos, which is why WC3 Connect recommends a certain version. So yeah, I hope that was helpful, and I hope that you're able to play Classic Warcraft 3 like you would like to. Um, I know that these methods have helped me enjoy the game, uh, even to, through today. Um, everything that I did in this video, I did today in March of 2023, so it definitely works in 2023 currently. Hopefully I preemptively answered some of your questions about how to and where to install custom campaigns and custom maps. I know that was a big thing people were asking on the old tutorial video, so hopefully me showing you that um, will help you out a little bit. And yeah, it's unfortunate that we have to go in a roundabout way to play the original Warcraft 3 that we love and paid for. Um, fuck Blizzard for that eternally. but at least it works and at least we can do it somehow uh, i hope this was helpful if you guys have questions i know i couldn't link to any uh sites with patches and clients on there youtube doesn't like it and i really didn't want to risk getting this video removed so um i didn't put anything on there uh, if you guys need help figuring anything out please reach out to me on twitter i probably won't be going in much more detail here on youtube beyond what i did in this video again because they don't like it um and yeah i'd appreciate if you guys would share this around the original warcraft 3 tutorial that i did uh was one of our biggest videos and it sucks that youtube removed that so it would be cool if uh you guys could help this one uh kind of grow again um but yeah hope it was helpful and i will see you guys all later